The Leaving Cert Higher Level Maths Exam Paper 1 will be held on Friday the 9th of June 2017 from 2 o'clock in the afternoon until 4.30. It will be followed by the Paper 2 on the following Monday morning from 9.30 until 12 o'clock. Um, each exam will be 150 minutes long for which there will be 300 marks. That means it's a very easy calculation to see how long you can afford to spend on each question. All you've got to do is take the number of marks for that question and divide by two. For example, if there's a question in section A that's worth 25 marks, well then you have a maximum of 12 and a half minutes to answer it. Likewise, if there's a question in section B that's worth say 60 marks, well then you have a maximum of 30 minutes to answer that. However, within each question it is difficult to know how much time to spend on each part. This is because you have no way of knowing how many marks are going to be allocated to each part. Um, all that you can really say is that you need to answer every part to give yourself a chance for some marks. If a question looks to be particularly difficult and it's unlikely to be tempted very well by many students, don't spend too long on it. It's not likely to have many marks. Speaking of maximising your marks, you should be aware of a number of trends that have begun to emerge in the last two years. The exam questions in the last few years have been fairer and more straightforward than they were in the initial years of the project maths. And that, combined with the fact that teachers are becoming aware of how the course is developing, means that students are becoming better prepared and are answering better in the exams in the last couple of years. All of this means that for the last couple of years the marking schemes have become more demanding. Unlike in the early years of the project maths, you will not get a huge number of marks for making a small attempt at a, at a question. Another point to bear in mind is that the marking schemes these days are different from the marking schemes in the past. In the past, if you made a decent attempt at a question but made a number of numerical mistakes even early on, you could expect to get a high mark for that particular question. The structure of the marking scheme is different now and that there are various levels that you have to get to to get partial credit marks. So at this stage, if you make a, a numerical mistake or a mistake of method early on, you could end up getting a low or a very low partial credit. With this in mind, you should pay attention to tidying up your mathematical calculations. Do not relax with a question just because you know what's going on. You need to pay attention to detail and finish it out. Best of luck in the exams.